plan, I mean support plan, and similar organization in Nigeria to be able to achieve their objective. And we have started this. We have started this because we have just considered 2020 budget in our committees. One of the critical areas through which girls or young women can survive and the decision to be able to decide is about choice. Uh, choice about when they want to get pregnant, choice about how they want to do that. They fulfill to plan for the young people, particularly girls who live in a society that is deeply patriarchal and that responses and the character of the society has increasingly continues to fail them. That if we don't plan for them, we are actually planning to continue to keep our country down. And so for us in Plan International, these are key major commitments that have continued to drive our work. Whether we are responding in the humanitarian context, particularly in the northeast of the country that has been faced with a higher level of devastation in the last one decade. I wish to assure you, on behalf of my Honorable Minister, Aja Saadia Umar Farouk, that the ministry is prepared and ready to work with Plan International to achieve all the all important goal the strategy is designed to achieve. We are very clear about the value that we can add to this response. And one of such, particularly for us as an organization that is very committed to children and young people, was one education. We want them to learn. Girls are learning everywhere. They are acquiring skills and they are doing very well. But we need to continue to support them to do better. I would look forward to seeing how we allow our girls take decision in our society. To thrive, they have to survive, they've been surviving, but we need to give them the best support for them to survive. If we have majority of the population being women or females and girls, then it is important for us to ensure that they get the best education, have access to quality work and jobs, and can make a positive impact in our respective countries. The other area where we have started work is in the area of addressing malnutrition. In the federal budget uh, last year, it's only about 250 million allocated for uh, addressing malnutrition in Nigeria. This year, we have about 850 million that are allocated for ready to use strategic fund, so that we could be able to address some of the problems that we have with uh, funding and severe acute malnutrition in Nigeria.